Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Camera Talk and I think quite a few people might be interested in my thoughts on the new Canon EOS 16 Mark II body. Now there's been some improvements on the original noticeably getting the 6 megapixels more on the sensor which obviously is full frame so we're going from about 20 to 26 and um, they've increased the frame per second um, basically from just over 4 frames per second to 6.5 they've increased the ISO ratings um, going natively up to about 40,000 ISO um, but you can expand that to 102 but most people won't be doing that so basically it's more sensitive in low light situations <clears throat> however personally my uh, feelings on the new camera obviously it can do 1080p video as standard 60 frames per second HD video um, and obviously it's going to be slightly better in terms of its weather ceiling than the previous version um, it's going to have better autofocus points on there as well I uh, believe it's 41 cross type so it's got better um, acquisition in terms of autofocus options uh, versus the original 6D which just had the one cross type um, however, I think this isn't a good camera for Canon to bring out um, because it doesn't offer much over the original 6D in my opinion. Um, but the biggest thing it's missing is 4K video really. Um, basically most manufacturers are doing that. Even the iPhone 7 does 4K video. Um, so for a new camera to be released without that functionality um, is a big letdown and I don't think for £2,000 it's worth the money um, there's other options out there such as Sony and Panasonic um, you know SLRs, um, mirrorless cameras that can do 4K video and I think it's a big letdown for Canon um, in terms of the new camera, it's it's hard to recommend it when there's the uh, you could pick up probably second hand the um, 5D Mark III for probably fifteen hundred pound. Um, so it, it's probably a hard recommend for me to re recommend anyone to get the new Canon ER60 Mark II body. Um, at that price point of £2,000 with no 4K video. Um, I think most people, especially YouTubers out there, and if you're someone who is a YouTuber is looking for a camera, <coughs> I would certainly recommend you don't get this because there's no 4K. Now, I personally don't use 4K in my videos, mainly because of memory size limitations. At some point, I would probably want to move up to 4K video. Um, especially if YouTube became optimized for 4K at the moment I don't think it really is um, <clears throat> so I would certainly say to a photographer and if you're interested in doing low light photography and doing portraiture this is a camera you might want to consider however um, if you're a videographer and you're looking for your new setup to do video I would certainly recommend that you don't go for this one. Um, I think and I feel Canon has not done the right thing yet. Um, at one point Canon was the innovator of technology and they seem to have fallen way behind the likes of Nikon and Sony um, especially when it comes to video capabilities in the camera. Don't forget <coughs> Canon was the first camera manufacturer to introduce uh, 180p video in still cameras um, so I think Canon really needs to step up to the plate and innovate and lead the way when it comes to technology don't get me wrong I love Canon equipment it's reliable I know how to use 
any Canon camera that I get my hands on because the setup, the the uh, menus, they're all the same. Um, one camera is like another camera. Some more expensive cameras like the 5D Mark III um, have e extra bells and whistles and obviously it's full frame opposed to crop sensor cameras with maybe less features. However, you pick up a Canon camera, you know how to use it. That's what's fantastic about the Canon system. The Nikon system, the Sony system, they all follow the same thing in terms of how they actually operate. So, my message to Canon is, please start innovating technology into your equipment so that we can use our existing lenses on those bodies. You never know, in the future, Canon might drop the mirror completely and go mirrorless. Only the future will show what Canon decide and um, the markets do sort of help innovate or lead manufacturers to innovate new technologies. So um, thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful.